homecoming at the three major airports around the Bay Area today as military personnel returned home for the holidays. KP's Patty Lee live now at San Jose Airport, where one of the largest groups arrived tonight. Patty? That's right, 51 soldiers returned home to the Bay Area tonight. Many spent the past year in a combat zone. Shrieks of anticipation. <laughs> greeted soldiers as they walked off their plane into waiting arms. Tearful parents greeted sons whom they haven't seen since last December. I'm really glad to be back home right now. I just been away for a year and uh, now I just want to spend time with my family and my loved ones. The Freedom Riders created a flag-lined runway for the soldiers, many of whom were stunned by the size of the crowd. It is just quite amazing to see all these people here. Never expected. For members of the 185th Military Police Battalion, tonight's homecoming is bittersweet. Just last month, the company lost one of their own in combat, 21-year-old Sean Walsh from San Jose. Walsh is one of only two National Guardsmen to be killed in combat in Afghanistan. Always counting down the days uh, till he went home, um, and his spirit always lives on with us, each and every one of us. He's here with us right now, and he wants every one of us to be happy. It was very hard, especially shore so close um, to them coming home. I'm so happy that they're home. I'm happy that they're, they're safe and back in, 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 back in our lives. After a year of combat, the chance to indulge in everyday life in America is on every soldier's holiday wish list. In and out burgers, oh man, La Vix, downtown San Jose, stuff we take for granted every day. But I'm not gonna take it for granted anymore. Many of these soldiers are not just home for the holidays. Tonight's homecoming marks the end of their tour. Reporting live in San Jose, Patty Lee, KTVU, Channel 2 News.